Okay, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Casey Builds uh, Live. And I just noticed I might have a problem, so I'm going to fix that real quick. There we go. Um, welcome back. Um, today, uh, Jay had asked last week about doing a uh, J and J Minecraft Builds. J. J and J. I think I said the full name. Anyway, uh, he had asked um, that we do a Harry Potter set. Um, so I certainly have a few of those, and so today I think we're going to go ahead and do the clock tower. Um, this one is a 900 piece set, 900 and change. Um, so it should be, it should be a full day, but it's definitely not going to be a multi-part build. Um, and it's got lots of fun stuff inside that you'll be able to, I'll be sure to hold up and see and, um... For all of you Harry Potter fans, or possibly people who have recently watched the movies for the first time, um, you'll be seeing a lot of stuff that should look familiar. Um, this is a new set for me, so we're going to go ahead and delicately cut it open, which is always a lot of fun. Done. Um, and then, uh, like is always a problem with the first sets. Uh, I won't have the first bag sorted. Tell you what, why don't you take it, dump them out, and then just give me bag one, instead of me dumping them all out. Um, so we're gonna, boom. Whoa, magic of television, look at that. That just appeared. No, I'm sorry. Magic of, uh, of the wizarding world. That disappeared. So, I know I've talked about this before, but I just love tearing open the bags. That's one of the one of the most satisfying, fun parts of these things is just tearing open a bag. Hogwarts, exactly. Hello, mom and dad. So yeah, uh, as I was saying, Jay, Jay requested last week that we do some some Harry Potter stuff. So this is going to be a Harry Potter weekend. Today we're going to do the Hogwarts, uh, the Clock Tower, and then, um, Lex, what did you say we should do tomorrow? Was it the yeah the Great Hall? Yeah, tomorrow we'll do the Great Hall. So we'll have a we'll have a good chunk of Hogwarts here by the end of the weekend. Um, Decided not to do the full Hogwarts set. Oh, hey, Donna. Happy birthday, Donna. I'm, I am I love that you are able to um, enjoy your birthday in the best way possible, which is on my stream. So, happy birthday to you and, and welcome to Casey Builds. Um... Yeah, uh, I decided not to do the full Hogwarts castle um, just because it is massive and um, it would be, um, well, just just so you guys know, let's see here, the Disney castle was 4,000 pieces, uh, ho the, ooh, the Hogwarts, the full Hogwarts castle is 6,000 pieces, so that was a full full three-part build for the weekend for the Disney castle. Um, similarly, the Death Star was about 4,000 pieces. So this would be another build or two. I mean, that would be like a four or five part build to do Hogwarts castle. So we're not going to do that on here because that's just way too long. Um, as it is, let's flip on over and we'll start their building here. Um, And my mind just went blank. I was so excited to see Donna on here. Don't get to see Donna as much as we'd like to. She's she's a f so far to the north. Um, but Donna has um, a fun little Etsy shop. So if you ever need any fun little cross stitch 
you should you should check her out. I, Donna, I don't know how to find your Etsy shop off the top of my head. I don't know how to tell people how to do that, but feel free to put it in the comments. <clears throat> should somebody want to find your Etsy shop, let them know how. All right. I'm also, um, unlike, unlike when I um, am doing Star Wars builds or Technic car related builds or things like that, um, I'm not going to have a whole lot of additional knowledge I can give about um, Harry Potter related things. I've seen all the movies. I enjoyed them a lot. Triple Crit Stitch on Etsy. That's Donna. If you want fun stuff, go to Etsy and search for Triple Crit Stitch. You can have wonderful cross stitches. Um, like, for example, this person right here, she's really tall. You'll note she's taller than a normal minifig um, as compared to this other person here, which I'll hold up and show you for comparison. Boop. Boop. I can tell you that each of these people are wizards of some kind because they have wands. But who this who this tall woman is or who this gentleman is, sure couldn't tell you. She's the headmistress of Bobaxton. Okay, this is apparently the headmistress of Bobaxton, which I assume is a house? No, the French magical school that comes for the oh, 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 the French magical school that comes for, for the Tri Wizard Tournament. That's what that is. She's the headmistress. She'll be very tall. She's a, she's a giantess. <clears throat> she's a what? She's a giantess. She's a giantess. Unlike Donna, who is a opposite of that. <laughs> um and then there's this little red fellow who knows who knows what his name is? I don't. Oh, that's uh, that's Victor Crumb from Durmstrang. He's the German. Okay, obviously, this is Victor Crumb from Durmstrang, and he's from the German house. The German magical school. German magical school. So, everybody knows that. And a famous Quidditch player. See, this is this is really useful because while I know nothing, Lex knows just about everything. She tells me it's because I haven't read the books. And while she is correct that I haven't read the books, um... I don't think that would actually make a difference in me remembering all of this stuff. I haven't read all of the Star Wars books, and yet I remember things in those movies. So. There's arguably less to remember in those, because there's only... Oh. Madame Maxine. Did I not say Maxine? Maxime with an N. Maxime. But I'm not sure. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. Chris, welcome to the stream. As always, your knowledge of things will be greatly appreciated. I just found a beard. It Lex is having a lot of fun sorting the future bags right now. Um, so today, uh, feel free if I'm mentioning something that's that I uh, I'm either saying I don't know or that is wrong. Please shout out and uh, put it in the comments what the right answer is. Chances are Lex will probably be beating you to it since there's a ten minute or a ten second delay on the feed, <laughs> and so she has a unfair advantage. Um, 
but that's all okay. Okay. I think we're not sure what I'm building right now, but there's a lot of clear pieces, which is kind of neat. It looks kind of per, perhaps icicly. What what am I building? I'm possibly building a refreshment table. We'll, we'll see soon, I hope. Mm -hmm. It looks very refreshing. All of these clear plastic pieces. There's one more. One, two. Where did I miss one? One, two, three, four. Oh, it's on the very first one. There. That's the problem with the clear pieces. They're kind of hard to see, and then sort of all blend together in the instructions. Yeah, see? There we go. A little. I'm going to call that a refreshment table. should go on there. There we go. So Donna, what kind of super, super exciting plans do you have for your uh, birthday other than joining us on Casey Builds? Do you have any anything amazing happening this evening? Perhaps something related to food or cats. Would I know more about Harry Potter trivia if, yeah, yeah, if Disney owned Harry Potter, you know what, I would like to say yes, but if I'm being totally honest, no, I probably wouldn't remember. I, like I said, I, I love the movies, I just don't remember a darn thing that happens in them. Including right after I rewatch them. So, it's just more of a universe that I'm happy to know exists without feeling Lex is continuing to tell me things that I could do to know more, which, well, anyway. Um, <clears throat> oh, ramen. Ramen for dinner. Yummy. Are we talking about, like delicious homemade top ramen Ew. which I don't have as much as I used to I used to have it quite a bit but Lex insists on us eating real food and apparently top ramen doesn't qualify so I only get it now when she's busy such as when she needs to go into the office during the lunch period as she did last week I think we're all just focused on trying to get me to remember everything from Harry Potter and really what we need to focus on is the fact that I don't I, I don't feel the need to remember everything from Harry Potter once again I'm just I'm just happy knowing that it's all there and I will enjoy the movies as they come out well there's the Fantastic Beast movies which I think are even better than the Harry Potter movies 
Yeah, Cordy, I have I have heard the same. And if I were to uh, want to experience the books in some way, that would absolutely be the way I would do it. Well, Donna, I'm sure your takeout ramen will be at least as good as the top ramen I had for lunch last week. Whenever we can get you to come and visit again, once such things are actually doable, we will have to take you to our ramen shop in Cupertino. Um, which is pretty darn good. The owner of the shop uh, was really excited to hear when uh, me and Lex got married and she gave us some free food as our wedding present. It was pretty sweet. Okay, what are, we, what are we working on here? I haven't, haven't really pointed anything out yet. I'm not sure what this is. It's going to be the outside of something. Or rather, there's the outside of a castle-y kind of a thing, and then on the inside there's this flame. That, which is probably something that somebody who remembers the movies would know what it is. So, fully expect in about 10 seconds to get blasted in chat here. Um, Lex, there were two free-floating pieces, kind of octagons. Those are them. You don't want me to first see those? No, thank you. Aw. We miss you too, Donna, even though you just said burb and you won't hear me say that. I'll say it again when you get back. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, some kind of a courtyard, perhaps. I assume all of these things that I'm building are gonna kind of, kind of fit together at some point here. We're not at that point yet. Also, I have not mentioned this yet, but these gears over here, I think that might be the first time I've not only seen these shape pieces before, but it might be the first time I've seen a piece in that color. Cordy, have you, are you familiar with this color piece or shape? We have two different sizes. We have six tooth one, and we have a twelve. No, ten. Ten. Ten tooth. Six tooth and ten tooth gear. They're very flat. Yeah, I've never. I don't know if I've ever seen this piece before. which I'm sure you all know is something very ex is very exciting for me. Hmm. Well, this is neat. Yeah, I'll 
I'll hold this up better for the camera in a second. This is fun. Oh! Well, Aunt Nancy, hello! Man, got all sorts of people on the stream today. How fun. All right, Cordy, you have not seen it either. Yeah, I... Sort of surprised by it. It's, they, they are functioning gears, so, um, that's kind of fun. They're very low profile gears. Oh, Pirates of Barracuda Bay. I still haven't built that. Yeah. Okay, what am I doing here? This needs to be here. Oh. Okay, so so we can this can spin on here, and then these can spin as well. So we got all sorts of all sorts of spinning spinning stuff going on here. Oh, and that'll hold that in place. Which means when this turns, everything's going to turn. So now, now that this is locked in place, you can see that as that turns, it's going to spin all these things on the outside too. That's fun. Still don't really know what this is, but uh, oh, from educational sets, that would make sense. I always get the most excited about the, the moving pieces with the gears and stuff in these builds. I know that's what I'm always getting excited about and holding holding up, but moving parts are the most interesting. out a plastic bag for the extra pieces at the beginning of this. Oh, I'll, I'll get it. It's fine. Just about done with the first bag. Almost. I think we're going to have some more icicly bits. Bicycles. Also, interesting to note here, um, so far in this set we've had two different um, uh, icicle types, I guess. I don't really know what to call these pointy things. Um, we certainly had these on the um, Disney castle, and they were the things that I said looked like unicorn horns, which... Uh, Carol was a big fan of, um, but we have in this set, you can see there's actually um, this kind, which are a little bit larger than the unicorn horns that I'd mentioned from, ooh, almost knocked my ca camera over. So two, two different types. These ones have kind of a spirally pattern and these ones are more, well, they're, they're longer. I don't, know why I don't know why there's two different kinds other than for variety but you would think if there's going to be variety they would mix them up throughout oh well oh well that's that okay gotta get my bag Oof. okay gotta have our extra piece bag Oop. 
comes bag number two. Oh, and thank you. Mm -hmm. And once again, um, Cordy, you were asking about this before. I showed uh, the one for the build last Sunday. What did I build? I built... The Avengers thing? Was it a... Was the Quinjet on Sunday? Whatever I built on Sunday also had a teal one of these, and this one has a teal one. So I'm I don't know how they choose whether they put uh, orange or teal in, but yeah. Oh, Lindsay Hauser, welcome to the build. Thanks for joining us today. Um, music is something that has been brought up before, and the um, general feeling about the music was it would be too much, it would make it hard to hear, um, and I don't know if I could do it in a way that would make it actually enjoyable to be able to listen to it while I build, and not obnoxious. Got a cute little Dumbledore minifig here. Let me get it out of the shadow. That beard is it's a great beard. And then we have a a gray person. Who? McGonagall. McGonagall? I don't. That, no, it's she looks. Lord, it's Lord the, the French champion. Okay, I'm told this is Flor de. Fleur de liqueur. Sounds like a boozy flower, but... Oh! Well, hello Tyson, aka Grace Chin, using your mom's name. Welcome to the build today. Holy cow. Okay, so Fleur de liqueur is the Bo Baxton champ, and Bo Baxton is the the really tall lady. So we'll put them next to each other. Oh. All these little all the wands to give us extra extra things. Ooh. Anyway. Okay. It's all right, Tyson. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome today. Well, Lindsay, I don't know if you're still out there or not, but I think you get credit um, for furthest away stream, and I'm looking forward to to logging into my my YouTube analytics and seeing Australia pop up as a as a place that my my stream is now being enjoyed because it shows it shows uh, metrics for locations and things. I think previously the furthest away had been uh, probably um, when MD Cordy, he tends to he tends to go on vacation in Florida a lot. I know he's watched there before so I think that had been the furthest so far. But um, but Australia's going to be the new winner. I'm just going to say that and declare it. So, congratulations, Lindsay. You are now in first place. Cordy, you will need to go on uh, a much further vacation. Oh, no. <sighs> what? stickers. <laughs> no, I am joking! That's not how we open that. Thank you. 
Would you mind giving me a pair of stickers, please? Uh, a pair of scissors, please. What about that little purple pair? Thank you. Thank you. Yep, there's stickers. And yeah, we're doing we're doing the Hogwarts clock tower today, Tyson. Okay, first first sticker of the build. There we go. There's actually a really interesting, um, so normally the stickers come on sheets like this. Um, this one, for some reason, has an extra sticker sheet. Oh, that's just one big sticker. So that's fun. Cool. Who doesn't like mermaids? Mermaids are awesome. Sorry for losing my cool there for a minute. Everything's fine. <laughs> Tyson, I, I always appreciate how much you care about how crazy stickers make me. So the walls of this are very irregular, and I mean that in the sense that there's, uh, unlike the Disney castle, which had a whole lot of uniform color and stuff, this one definitely has a lot of more randomness going on. Um, presumably it's because it's not meant to look like a completely flawless castle, and it's meant to have a more more authentic organic look if I were to pick one to live in that I'd want to live in well I think the Hogwarts castle is very cool I don't know if all of these delightful imperfections would just drive me nuts long term Pretty sure they would, so I think I would have to go with the Disney Castle if I was picking one, even though they just made it much more pink, which I would not say is an improvement. Oh, I just realized what I'm building here. This is really cool. Okay, so um, we have this thing that looks kind of like a bath or a fountain of some kind, um, and I just made this. Which, well, how does it fit on there? These are um, faucets pouring water down into the fountain. That's really cool. Alright, and sticker number six. 
those are all the same. Okay, sticker six needs to be here-ish. Well, Tyson, you are ahead of me. I actually haven't read any of the uh, Harry Potter books. I've only seen all of the movies. But yeah, this is either a fountain or a bathroom or something. I, I really like the way that looks. That's, that's a really creative uh, thing they did there. All right, we got some little bushy green things going on out here. Okay. Complete with extra greebling on top of the green stuff. Makes it look like they're, uh, they're weeds growing out of the walls or something. Alright, and here's our mermaid. Okay. So this one... Maybe this is on a special paper because it's supposed to be see-through. Oh, it is see-through. Okay, which means we need to make sure the, the window we apply it to is nice and clean. We don't want to have permanent fingerprints behind it. Oh, that's really... Neat. Okay. Huh. Hey there, Bo James. There has been no dungeon build yet that I can think of. Did I do a dungeon build? Yeah, we haven't we haven't built any dungeon yet. Oh yeah, that's good. There we go. All right, which way is this supposed to go in here? Like that. Oh yeah. There might be a moaning myrtle in here, if this is the bathroom. That is one of the coolest... You know what? I, I normally hate stickers, but I sure I sure like the, the see-through um, stained glass thing that we just made here. That's a lot of fun. Okay. Harry Potter fans. Where... Does the set come with a Dobby? I don't think there's one in this set. I'll look through. Because I think I've seen a little Dobby before. I'll, I'll, I'll check. Sweet Dobby. Um, Harry Potter fans. What room has a stained glass window of a mermaid? I don't, I don't know. Nope, that's okay. Lex gave me information about which bathroom she thinks this is, but it would... It exceeded my, my memory buffer. So, we can all just take comfort knowing that if you know Harry Potter stuff, you probably know which bathroom this is. I have 
once again already forgotten. But as mentioned before, I promise this does not detract from my enjoyment of Harry Potter. There you go. Thank you, Lex. Welcome. So, Mom, when you mentioned Moaning Myrtle, I think you were... I don't know if you were intentionally answering... But I think you were correct. If you if you knew the knew that answer. Good work. Oh, not Moaning Myrtle. Okay, I was wrong. I do remember Moaning Myrtle, though, which is more than I can say for Tall Lady. So, call that a small victory. All right, more stickers. we got to put down... This one. <sighs> Get my sticker wrong. Come on. Okay. All right, and another really big sticker on the inside of this thing, which are always the hardest ones to do. Hmm. missed and then it made it all cattywampus bear with me there we go I think that's straight Ha! Huh. This is turning out to be a very exciting set. There we go. Got it nice and straight in there, though. Hagrid. Hagrid liked the tall woman, huh? Mm -hmm. it does, that's, I don't remember at all, but that sounds very funny and like something that I would enjoy or that I probably enjoyed when I watched it. Okay. This is the last really, really big sticker. I need a better shine. Okay. Wow. All right. I just used up all of my luck for the rest of this year. So. <laughs> so stay away from my house because I'll probably be getting the COVIDs.
but it was worth it to have well placed stickers. There we go. All right, now we got this and this. Uh, okay. I think that's a great idea. Tonight would be a great Harry Potter night. Just uh, don't quiz me on it during our build tomorrow because even if I watch tonight, I will not remember anything that happens. Is a I am flawed. We got, we got lots of stickers densely going on in this, this little area here, but they do look pretty good, if I do say so myself. Okay. All right, Potter folk, what's uh, this is some kind of maybe a, a cauldron or something, and uh, uh, maybe a th throne of some kind? I, I don't know. My Potter encyclopedia just looked over here and is visibly processing what she's seeing. Hang on a second. Oh, that's the pen seat. This is this is Dumbledore's office. Oh. That's why there's Fox in the background. Oh yeah, F Fox, in the background. So it's clearly Dumbledore's office. The pen seat is a pen seat because remember you gotta do that Harry Potter and look at his name. Uh, which includes a pen. Pensive, pensive, Dumbledore's all, yeah, see, Cordy knows, I don't, I don't need to tell people what all this stuff is. I feel like Lex is probably just really jealous of me because literally every time I watch Harry Potter, I get to enjoy it as though it was the first time I'm, I'm, seeing it and for somebody that loves Harry Potter as much as she does I feel like that would be one of the greatest 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 things one could hope for oh we're gonna put a sticker there all right okay That's a new place for a sticker you know, I'm, I'm happy about that. We're getting the stickers out of the way early on. So, that's great. That is great news. So, we're just going to keep building stuff for Dumbledore's office up here. a lamp. Ooh, it's a lamp. Okay. And uh, this looks like a quill for in an inkwell. Here we go. Here's his desk. See? There you go. Got a lamp and ink and stuff. That's fun. Well, see... 
Cordy? That's an interesting question. Because if you go to Pottermore, at some point in the last few years, they decided to rejigger some things. And you don't have to retake the test. If you've taken the test before, it remembers everything that you said. And they have reassigned houses. Um, Lex and I were both Gryffindors previously. Um, and now um, it's like NASA just changing astrology out from under everybody. Um, you have a nude sign now? Well, you're a different house now. And so um, I am apparently a Ravenclaw, according to the website. Lex is a very, very, very noble Hufflepuff, which she's clearly happy about. Despite what she's saying in chat. <clears throat> Cordy, what are you? Or I should say, what do you think you are? And then what are you after going to check to see if they've changed you? Ravenclaw. I, I would have guessed Ravenclaw for you. Yeah, that's really cool. His uh, Dumbledore's office. That's nice. And then it looks pretty good on the outside, too. Um, here's something. Um, there's some scalloping in the roof tiles on this piece. Uh, I don't know why that they didn't include that on the Disney castle. Seems like something they should have done. Oh, and this all fits together. Okay, so we have this and this that fit together this way okay so again the outside of it um very much irregular uh lots of visual variety with the colors and the pieces and things um and it all just kind of stacks together that's cool And I bet that was the end of that one. Yep, it was. On to bag three. Okay. There we go. I'll go grab it. Okay. Yeah, Cordy, are you uh are you sure that you are still a Ravenclaw? Donna, birthday girl. I don't know if you're still here right now, but if you are, I would guess that you are probably a Slytherin. Tell me if I'm wrong. Alright. Oh, that's Harry's face, not Ron's face. Oh wait, that might not be Harry. There's no... It's Cedric Diggory. That's Cedric Diggory. Who is clearly not Harry Potter. Obviously, everybody knows Harry Potter has black hair. And this one has brown hair. Cedric Diggory, also known as uh, Edward from the Twilight movies. Something interesting, uh, too. Well, see, Cordy, I, you, I, you might want to 
you might want to log in and check. I don't think you buying the scarf is going to have any influence on the algorithm they use. Lex says she's going to retake the quiz. I am having a hard time getting Robert Pattinson's head on straight. There we go. So something that uh, something that I just noticed was all of the um, the wands um, for the people so far, if you, if you look closely, they're actually all different color. Um, so there is variety to, to the wands, which is kind of fun. <laughs> I am, Grace, I'm guessing you took your phone back. Or is that Tyson still? Oh, weird. Okay, well, here's something interesting. Um, I think Cordy might be the person who's the most interested by this. Um, step 76, I'm going to blow this up here. Step 76 clearly asks for um, a piece with a hole through it. Um, and you'll see down here that is not used. However, if you go over here, uh, the piece with a hole in it is being used and it's not being called for uh, up top in the, in the, um, the recipe area ingredient area that is a typo the wand picks the wizard yes um, when I went to the wizarding world in um, Universal Studios Florida um, it is, it is very cool. Um, one of the things that they have, uh, like th they've, they've had some, they, they recreated a lot of things from the movie and made them more or less real. And one of the things that they recreated is the wand shop. It's not Oleander or o Ollivander's. Ollivander's. I was close. Remembering the name correctly. Ollivanders. It's not Ollivanders, but um, it's similar to Ollivanders. And you can walk into a shop um, to buy your souvenirs. I don't have Ollivanders. What? Um, and um, it is it is floor to ceiling. It feels um, it feels magical because um, there there's so many wands. Like it's boxes and boxes of wands. Um, and you could I tried pulling one out from underneath like a whole stack of them to see if it was all real and like literally every box had a wand in it and it was uh i was actually i'm just gonna say impressed um but it was it was almost unbelievable <laughs> that's okay grace I didn't think that uh, Tyson would be so uh, vocally Team Edward, so I assumed it was back with you. Not that he's not 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 that you or he would have been wrong, mind you. I. I also, I was Team Team Edward with the Twilights, as well.
And I know that Lindsay's gone by this point because she was a very vocal Team Jacob. Member. Okay. Actually, Bo James, I don't know if you're still out there, and if, if you're not, I'm going to ask you this later anyway, so don't feel like you have to answer now. Um, curious, I'm curious where you fall on the whole Team Edward, Team Jacob thing. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I ever learned that in our in our in our watchings. I wish I could tell you guys what parts I'm building, um, but once again, it's kind of hard for me to know what these are. Um, especially, especially proactively, and not not just because I, I don't remember all the things, but just because right now it's a, it's a room that I'm building that has some green stuff on the outside. So who knows what that's going to be? Uh, have to make some more progress before we know what that is. Okay. And just for just to reiterate for anybody that might not have been here at the beginning or is new now or whatever, um, planning. Expecting today to be a pretty full build, but we'll finish this thing up today. But it'll definitely be on the on the tail end of the two hours, closing in on three probably. So it'll take us. I don't think it'll take us all the way until five o'clock, but it's a bit. It'll be a be the greater portion of of that. Um, and then tomorrow we'll do another Harry Potter build just because why not make it a whole Harry Potter weekend? Certainly have enough sets, so we'll be doing doing more Harry Potter tomorrow. This might be some kind of an entrance because it looks like we're building some columns maybe. We got some some pillars in the corners. Who knows? We will soon enough. Incidentally, I think there's only, yeah, this is great. There's only one sticker left at this point, so we're going to be booking from here on out. and flat and polished off here. Does the next build have Dobby? 
Uh, I'll look. I'll, I'll I will I will check when um, when I'm done with this uh, with this tray when when Lex is lovingly swapping out to the next one. I will look at the the build I was planning to do tomorrow. We'll check. I don't know if I'd feel right uh, doing a build with Bobby since he is in fact a free elf. Keen-eyed viewers will have noticed that I just had to go back a couple of pages because I completely missed step number 96. So, that's on me. So this is really, I have an archway in here. You know, one of the things that I thought was weird was that they came out with the, uh, they have the big Harry Potter castle, when I was talking about earlier, the 6,000 piece one. Um, but then they have all of these other sets that are um, portions of the castle. Um, and you you can't there's not enough to be able to take all of the smaller sets and put them together to build one big castle but i feel like that would have been really cool that if they'd have had yes the six thousand piece one but um could have been a really neat opportunity for them to make enough sets of all of the other rooms of the castle where if somebody had it in their mind to get them all uh, they could, and then um, build them in such a way that they could all link together to make a massive scale castle. I think that would have been pretty cool if they'd have done that. But that does not appear to be what's what's happening. Hold this up in a second because it looks like we're getting something that's starting to be recognizable. This entryway here. I'm just gonna put a few more pieces down. Lock the arch into place. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of neat. Uh, again, I'm not sure which part of the castle this is. Um, it's really, it's neat how, um, obviously when they design these, they're going to want them to match the characteristics of, um, the specific thing they're designing them after, but the, this castle has such a different feel to it than like the Disney castle does. I mean, obviously it's going to, but, um, it the 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 build the look and the behavior of it all it's just it is clearly uh, very different we are getting toward the end of this There's 20 pieces left and then I can check to see about Dobby a couple more steps Do -do -do -do. Ooh, 
more more elements. What's this? This one appears to be more. This is like a a blue flame. Is there ever a blue flame anywhere? Yes, I'm told yes. So here here we have a blue flame. And a treasure chest. Thing is the roof painting, so I'm going to hold this up now. So we have a, we have the outside, which has kind of a nice entrance going on, and then the inside here has a, has a treasure chest on this side. It actually opens up, and then uh, some kind of a blue flame thing in a goblet. Whoa! Oh wait, goblet of fire? Did the f goblet of fire have blue flame? Boom! Look at that! Look at. Boom. Harry Potter. Yep, that's that. That's the end of that one. Okay, we'll set that to the side. I'm sure Lex will be kind enough to bring us the other tray. Wow, I look for Dobby. Let's see here. Do we have a Dobby in this one? No Dobby here. Although this set is built to attach to the Whomping Willow set, which I also have. Perhaps I should have done that one instead. <clears throat> Thank you. Does the Whomping Willow set? Does this one have Dobby? There's no Dobby there. Uh, Whomping Willow. No Dobby. I I will look through all of my Harry Potter sets. I probably have. Well, I, I've got a few. Not quite Star Wars level, but I I, I have many. Five points for Ravenclaw. Cordy, I do think you should uh, you should double check on Pottermore. Might be a Hufflepuff now. Okay, here's a lady in a whole bunch of pink. Hermione. This is Hermione. Mm -hmm. When does she wear a pink old? When they have the ball. Big pink dress. When they have a ball. Okay, well that would make sense. Okay, we have we have a very frilly fluffy Hermione. Frilly fluffy Hermione. Looks more like uh Lil Kaylee from Firefly. in that episode where she has to go to the ball. Ooh. My window didn't stick together. <laughs> I kind of 
thought we'd be building another area, but we're just going to be, looks like we're going to keep building up on this one. Um, which bag are we on right now? Four? Okay, we're halfway done here. Uh, hour 15? Yeah, we'll be done around 4.30, assuming this stays at a relatively constant clip. Ron was clueless. Well, Ron's typically clueless, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. That is something I do remember from the movies. Just a big goober. Got it back. All right, uh, T Tyson or Grace? Who? I, I'm not sure which one of you steals the phone from who at this point. And don't say me because that doesn't do me any good. I'm guessing Tyson. Oh, emojis, definitely Tyson. Right on. Welcome back, Tyson. Ah, uh, okay. This is a really cool piece um, that um, they have, so the piece on top here, they have this both in angled ones, um, they have them flat across, they have them, um, th th there's multiple configurations for the way it works, um, but on the Hogwarts castle, this piece um, made for one of the coolest parts of a build that I think I've ever seen. The Hogwarts, the full Hogwarts castle, the big 6,000 piece one, uh, Tyson, yeah, very good. Um, it, uh, the, the full Hogwarts castle, they have such a cool, um, way that they make a, uh, stained glass, win stained glass windows in that set. Um, uh, this one, obviously, it had that mermaid that we did. Um, but the stained glass windows on the castle are actually using the the clear pieces, um, I don't like the cl clear the clear pieces, but they are all the the flat one by two pieces, the ones that are this size, um, and so they're clear. And you stack them all up, and then um, that piece I was just holding up kind of locks in the top. So you build them sideways, um, and um, I'm not doing a very good job of describing it. It it just it, it's so it was such a creative way to be able to build a window that was a stained glass window with pieces that are really really old pieces that have been around forever. Um, it was one of the the more impressive things that I think I've I've ever seen in one of these things. And when the uh, if if there was ever light behind it, it actually shone through, and um, it was cool. It was very cool. This is some sort of, perhaps a vanity, maybe? Oh, apologies, Cordy. I, uh, yes, I don't want to spoil the build for you. I look forward to getting texts from you when you are building the stained glass window. So I believe this is a vanity. It kind of looks like maybe a mirror. It's gonna go right up here. Tuck, tucked away right up here in the corner. I'm sure this will be somebody's room. We'll find out soon enough. Tyson, I'm not sure what's going on there. I see a I see a spinner uh, above what you wrote. I 
I see not an emoji, but looks like I'm guessing it was maybe it was supposed to be an animated GIF, but it didn't actually work. wire window and here we are with another quill pen in an ink ink well here definitely building another desk Any thoughts to whose room or bedroom that could be right there? There's lots of potions off to one side. Maybe there will be more more things here that will let us know what that is. Um, Tyson, it might have worked on yours, but on at least on mine, it looks. It still looks like it's just a, a loading spinner. Do you see anything different on yours, Lex? Mm -hmm. Lex also sees a loading spinner. Might only work on yours since you sent it. <clears throat> Aha, uh -huh. and now for the final sticker, and we're done with stickers. Woo! It's all downhill from here. Okay, this sticker might be an indicator of who's... Oh, no, I'm... Oh, it's not straight. It's not... It's fine. That's... It's, it's a chalkboard, so it doesn't need to be straight. It'll be fine. This says Woody Inf Infor I can't I can't read it. Does anybody know what's going on here? What is it? It says Woody Inf something or other. Or Moody. Oh, Moody. Wait. Not Woody. It's Moody, right? Isn't there a Moody? Yep. Okay, so this is Professor... Professor? Yeah. Professor Moody's office. Oh, that's what you meant to do. A little spinner. Very good. Good work, Tyson. You figured it out. Nice job. Punched. I must punch this thing off the side of the table. Tyson, I think, uh, Mike 16 was referring to my sticker placement. My sticker placement was unforgivable. And I do not disagree with him. I, that was 
poorly placed. But as I've been told many times, life goes on. Personal growth, it's fine. It's not gonna bother me. I shall not allow it to bother me. I would have to choose to let it bother me. I will not do that. Which one's Professor Moody? Is that, um, is that, uh, Mad Hat Moody? He's got the eyes that moves around. Oh, yeah. Pain. Yeah, the creepy red, does he have red hair? Yeah, that's a. You can't even tell when you're looking at it from here. You can't, can't even, can't even tell that it's not on there straight. It's fine. Not a problem. Die Moody. That's right. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it now. Unless I buy another set, which I'm not going to do. It's fine. I know it's fine. And the more I tell myself that it's fine, the more fine it will be. building up here. We have a nice room for him here. Oh, stickers on minifigs. That that thought might might be enough to give me nightmares tonight. Thank you, Cordy. That sounds awful. Man, that's a that's a long piece. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's sixteen. That's a one by sixteen. That's a big fella. We're done with the stickers for this build, Chris. 
the last the last sticker was on on a piece that was in here and it was it was not your Ravenclaw now So Lex just went and did the Pottermore test again because she was really frustrated to be re reset to Hufflepuff and now she is um, Ravenclaw. So here we have a great little book you can see in this book, it's teaching you how to swish and flick. It says Wingardium Leviosa on it. It's really hard to see because it's really small, but it actually says Wingardium Leviosa, which is how you pronounce it. It's not Leviosa, it's Leviosa. But you have to swish and flick. Um, <laughs> and this is one of those cases where the book just sits there on top of a flat thing which is just begging to fall off. So I hate it when they do those sorts of things. And here we are up to bag five. <clears throat> bag five and what appears to clearly be Harry Potter Harry Potter together over here. Yep, there is, there is in fact, let me hold this up for you guys. Let's say also get his head on straight. I hope you're still going to be able to see it once you put the hair on. Oh, you do. Okay. Yep. Okay. So you can see. It's tough to see, but hopefully the camera will focus correctly for you to be able to see it. First, let's get his wand in. Okay. So just under his hair, up in the corner, you can see... He has a little lightning bolt up above his eye. Right there. So, clearly hairy. <clears throat> um, unbuild one, yeah. Um, this is bag five and there are six bags. So we'll be done I would say an hour tops. Uh, that bag's not very big, so definitely an hour tops. One more hour at most. Cordy, I am glad you found a, an enjoyable way to disassemble. definitely takes her her tray sorting very seriously. Did I get compliment? You did. Oh. Long haired Harry Chris I thought it was a uh, Chris Chris, aren't you more interested in a uh, long bottom? Oh, okay. 
so this this step clearly says this little red triangle needs to be positioned the way it is. I'm excited to see. I have a feeling this is actually going to twist and turn on here, um, which I wasn't sure if it would or not. But <clears throat> as we know, moving parts are the best. Oh, the hands are going to turn. Huh. And we're going to use a socket and a wrench to set the time. <clears throat> Team Cedric Diggory. Okay. All right. Very good. Chris, I think there was something I was going to tell you when you had said, be right back. <clears throat> and then I mentioned it. And when I mentioned it, I said, and I know that Chris isn't going to hear this right now because he just said he would be right back. And that I would mention it again. I thought that was for Donna. Was that for Donna? I thought I had something to say to Chris, too. Anyway, point being is it's gone now. So, <clears throat> no, no, I was not, but I am happy to hear that he is Team Edward. This is bag five, but um, Lex says that bag six is actually very quick. It's a small bag. grocery store run yep yeah. we're gonna be doing ours in the morning this morning um, well <laughs> this morning I woke up and went to to relieve myself and as I was in the bathroom, I heard the Immaculate Collection come on, which means that um, when Lex was growing up, uh, whenever it was time for them to clean the house, her mom would put on, well, 80s radio or the Immaculate Collection? Immaculate, immaculate Collection, yeah. So pretty much I associate 80s music now with it's time for me to go vacuum. And so I was sitting there and I heard Madonna and I was like, oh, well, I guess we're cleaning the house this morning. So that's what we did this morning. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow will be the grocery store run. It's a nice collection, cars, greatest hits. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so, I'm told it was Cars, ACDC, um, but mostly Immaculate Collection. So, And Chris, I apologize. Uh, I did not, didn't realize there was a difference between Team Edward and Team Cedric Diggory. So, uh, yeah. my, my apologies.
Uh, Chris, did you turn on some 80s hits to let Ryan know that it was time for him to vacuum, or did he just do it on his own? Tyson, Tyson, I'm curious. Do you guys, um, does your does your mom ever make you help clean the house? And if so, what's your job? I was always when I was growing up, I was in charge of vacuuming. That was my deal. Clearly have him very well trained, Chris. Okay, we got some more interesting things going on up here. This is a... Um, Well, I'm going to I'm going to need to probably have a professional professional uh, Harry Potter person come over here and look at this. Tell me what's going on, but clearly we have some dormitories going on up here. I don't know what the blue things are. Those just Maybe it's the infirmary? Oh, do they have an infirmary? Yeah, they do. Madame Pomfrey's the nurse. And Madame Pomfrey is... The nurse. Okay, the nurse. Got it. <laughs> okay. This might be the infirmary up here. Possibly. <laughs> Whole lot of Rosie. Yeah, absolutely. Make the beds. Yeah. Cleaning the mud room. That sounds intense. These are cute, cute little nightstands with, with uh, lamps on them. There's some gearing going on up here, which leads me to believe that we're going to actually have something of a crank to uh, turn the hands on the clock, which is going to be, I think, really cool to look at once it's ready. I actually didn't inspect the box too much, um, so I don't know what's actually going to happen here. So this could be um, a huge failure, but so far it looks pretty cool. Or it looks like it will be pretty cool. There we go. Well, mm, it's not that fancy, but this crank back here, this crank allows us to turn the crank and it makes time move. That's, that's fun. I like that.
you know, usually when he's here, he's pretty chatty, so I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if Jay is out there today. It's kind of a bummer since he was the one who had asked to have this done. Maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll watch a stream after the fact. Modular Bookshop arrives today. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's good. Uh, see, for me, Cordy, the the way that I usually operate, like I will frequently build something, and then um, there are certain things that I plan to plan to be quasi permanent um, decorations. But a lot of the stuff. Um, my cadence is build something and then take something apart. Build it and take it apart. And um, For me, stuff doesn't really stay out for too long unless it's one of the permanent ones. Most of the things that I build here on the weekends um, when the stream is over, um, I usually turn the stream off and then flip back around and just immediately take it right back apart. Uh, Tyson, I'm talking about, uh, he's here a lot. His name is, I think it's J&J &J Minecraft Builds, I think. Something with J. J&J. Anyway, I think uh, for anybody who enjoys building a lot of things and has an ever-expanding collection, uh, practicing practicing good habits to keep your space clear for new builds and it's important. So kudos to you, sir. Hmm. This is cool, the way this t the top of this is going to be here. That's clever. Good rooftop greebling going on right now. Oh, J not built. Yeah, J and J Minecraft Let's Play. That's what it was. Not not Minecraft built. Very good memory, Tyson. Very good. Okay, so this is this is kind of neat. The way the ceiling or the roof um, comes together there. That's neat. I like it. Well. That was quickly the end of bag five. Um, and now we're on to bag six, which will be the end of the build. So um, this one's actually going for 900 pieces. It's actually quicker than I was expecting it to be. Thank you. <clears throat> and nothing's nothing wrong with that. You can people can get out and start planning their dinners. So we're on the we are on the last bag. And let's see here. Were there any things that I promised promised to look for Dobby? I didn't see him in the set that I was looking at to build tomorrow. Um but I will look look some more uh, to see if I can find him anywhere else. Lex thinks that he might be in a big castle, in the big castle set. So, uh oh, oh no. Oh, it fell off. Okay. Hmm. I have to 
try to get that back in there. There, come on. There. Anyway, yeah. Um, I'll look around for some. Do I'll look around for Dobby. So I can at least show him off. Even if he won't be in a set that we're going to be building on as a live stream. some clear bits above above the clock there not actually sure what those represent as I do not really remember what the clock tower looks like from the movies um, here's a fun fact for everyone um, when I was again prior to the build just trying to look stuff up and think about stuff um, the clock tower uh, turns out is never actually mentioned in the books <clears throat> it is in the movies um, and there are references to it possibly existing in the books because um, the the chiming of the bells um, which are in the clock tower there are five bells in the in the tower here um, copper bells for whatever that's worth um, those are what um, signify the start and end of class periods uh, at the school um, so uh, presumably the the Hogwarts castle in the books did have this um, but it was never mentioned so uh, here's a little little trivia for you trivia factoid okay oh I really like this roof it fits together it's very satisfying how that all the angles all just work those bits folded down so now it's um, it's actually irregularly shaped the, the the angles that are at are very weird for Lego pieces but it works I love that Tower just keeps getting taller. Lex, um, can you look on that Harry Potter box over there to see if it says anything about combining it with other sets? Because the uh, the Great Hall over here does on the back show like two oh, sets with a plus. Lex was right, by the way. It was the infirmary. So. It would be obvious. It would show like two. It would be a big. No. Okay. No. Okay, we'll just keep building up. Alright, now this one will attach over here. See, the way these are attaching it, um, is the same way that the other sets behind me over here. Um, when I just looked at it really quickly, it looked like they attached. So presumably all of these could actually fit together. Um, but you can see on this one there's um, a couple of pieces sticking out, and on this side there's a couple of holes that they fit into, and um, just like that you can fit them together to create a, a larger um, um, larger model. And so I think the other ones down there will, will work the same way. Um, so I'm gonna, 
I will not be taking this set apart immediately. Um, I plan to uh, leave it set up with the other one too when I'm done here. Um, in fact, yeah, um, these things could, these chunks are all modular. There's there's holes on the outside of this one and there's actually more pegs sticking out over here. Um, so you could easily swap them around and put them in different order um, and if some of these other th uh, other sets um, follow the same pattern, there's no reason why they couldn't all fit together. Uh, which I think is pretty darn fun. Uh, being able to hook everything up together like that. Like a modular building for Hogwarts. Exactly. Gordy, at times your reactions to these things make me feel like I'm a dealer. Which, I'm, I mean, I'm not... Doesn't offend me, I'm not upset by it. I was taking a lot of effort to get these things all lined up. Um flush with one another because now we're going to build a whole bunch of these, um, I don't know, branch? It's not really a branch. It's a, well, whatever it is, we're going to build four of them and they're going to have to attach to all the sides of this thing. And I had anticipated that that was what was going to be happening. And uh, if they weren't all aligned correctly, it would be difficult to attach them all. Trying to convince you to buy Lego sets, that's a very wholesome peer pressure. Good point. Quality control certainly would appreciate that, yes. Um, Lex is a Christmas tree looking thing. Does it have any sort of an association with this set? Because I'm building a Christmas tree right now. Yeah. Is my point. Yes. What is the connection? And that's how the hall is decorated for the ball. That's how the what gets what? That's how the hall is decorated for the ball. Oh. That's how the hall was decorated for the ball. And in other news, the rain in Spain stays mainly on the plain. Okay. There's four sets of those. One, two, three, four, they all, oop, all come together to make a really pretty tree with a capper and, oh, a little star and everything, which I'm sure wouldn't surprise anybody who remembers what the tree looks like in the movie, which is also why it is a surprise to me. The Yule Ball has fourth years. Our heroes are eligible to attend. Sure. Uh, do I remember the building that I sh Tyson says, do you remember the building that you showed me for my Lego movie? Is this that set? No, no, this is not that set, Tyson. Um, um, that set 
is the big, big 6,000 piece uh, Hogwarts castle. That's that's on the, the shelf over here. Um, oh, how clever. Okay, so, all right. So we have a really nice little tree. And we have these cute tables of refreshments with icicles hanging off of them. Um, but watch this. Okay, so we're done with the set. Um, now we see how this stuff works. Okay, so we're going to put Hermione and a uh, dude in a red shirt together. Victor Crumb. Victor Crumb. Hermione and Victor Crumb. And we're going to put Ron and Bl Blonde Bimbo. Fleur de la Cour are going to be together. And uh, Dumbledore will be dancing with Madame Maxine. Ma Madame Maxine. So check this out. This is this is great. Uh, how do I make him spin? So, you know what? I'm going to take this little piece off because that's easy to do. So now when this thing spins, you can see everybody dancing together. How fun is that? That's really great. I like that a lot. You can see that they're all spinning around. From the top you can see, especially. That's really cute. You know what? We're gonna make our own we're gonna make our own Harry Potter fan fiction here, and we're gonna put um, Cedric Diggory and Harry Potter dancing together because there's a fourth pad and so they're gonna be on the fourth pad and now they shall dance alongside all the others because why not love is love there we go all done oh great oh I missed a whole lot of comments does she does she's crush on criminal yeah okay yeah so um, that all fits together very nicely um, one one big modular uh, one big one big modular castle and um, tomorrow we're gonna build build some more and presumably it'll just keep attaching attaching this and making it bigger which is pretty cool um, got everything we have the insides which were all fun and I showed you those as we were going this little book is gonna drive me nuts. I might just throw that in my extra pieces bag because it's kind of dumb. Or maybe I'll put the the book in the treasure chest. That's less likely to fall out there. Um, yeah, that's that. Um, let's see, are there anything other... Oh, yeah. Okay, see, now here, this set must have come out first, maybe? Um, because now it shows other ones that you can put all together on here and yeah you just modularly keep building a bigger and bigger hogwarts yeah that's cool uh cordy it says here limited availability so uh disponibilidad limitada if you hablo espanol um so hop on that um thank you everybody for showing up today um this was a fun build i liked it we'll do some more do some more tomorrow, more Harry Potter. Um, but thanks, thanks everybody for showing up, and uh, enjoy the rest of your Saturdays. Uh, mischief managed. <laughs>